Hello, everybody. My name is Josh Hillikram with the Intel vPro Expert Center. Today, I'm talking about how to install the WS Man Translator and specifically how long it'll take to go from having a box and what you see here is detected state to actually having it provisioned. I'm working on an AMT 3.2.1 box and it is currently stuck and not being provisioned. So let me show you how. Uh, and during this video, I'm referencing Matt Royer's blog on how to install a WS Trans um, Translator and how to get it set up for to fix this exact problem. First thing is I'm going to launch the MSI. And the MSI is, this application is going to walk through how to install WS Man. And let's go ahead and install it. And again, there are a couple different places out on the VPR Expert Center where you can see these instructions. Matt's got one that's broken into three steps and one that's an all-in-one, and I'll refer to both of those in the video or in the blog here today. So after it's installed, it's you programs, WS Man Translator, WS Trans, um, Config.exe. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. And what you're going to do is two things. You're going to set common SIP accounts, set TLS forwarding options. You're going to put in the password. This is the password for remote devices. Whatever you're using for your MebEx, this has got to match. And you're going to go ahead and leave the key name and key value the same. Next, we're going to go over and you're going to grab your certificate file. So, for example, I put my PFX file on my desktop and I can grab that and load that in. And you'll see it, it fills out the data here. If you have any kind of errors at this point, you know you have a bad certificate problem and you need to go back to IIS and you need to download it off of IIS again. And again, those instructions are online. I'm going to go to next and I'm going to leave 443 and 6993 the same. And I'm going to hit finish and let it restart the translator service. Now at this point, um, all that I've really done is install WS Man Translator. Okay, so within SCCM SP1, you go under the site database, site management, whatever your site server is called, site settings, component configuration, out of band management. You'll double click on out of band management. Once you have that up, you go to AMT settings. There's a box that's very important here called enable support for Intel WS Man Translator. Hit apply, hit OK, and at this point, we have set up SCCM. SP1 to handle the WS Man translator. So we've installed WS Man, we've got SCCM ready, we already had our certificate, now we're ready to run the VB script. And now what I've done is I have created, and let me show you, off of the root, I actually just put it for, for this purpose, I put a self-signed VBS script. And the only thing that I've modified out of here is I just made sure that my SCCM MEVX password equals my password that I'm using. So whatever your password is, this has to be changed in your um, in your setup. Now this also gives instructions on how to do it, like how to actually run it. What are the examples? So for example, see here, um, self-signed, fixed, HTTPS, transhost, IP address, quote, 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 why, um, yes. And each of these are described in that help file, and you can see what to do there. So I'm going to go ahead and I already have that box, the DOS window up. I'm actually going to run a C script because I want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to do C script, self sign fix, VBS, HTTPS, my, you know, MS, SCCM, SP1, slash. Um, and actually get rid of this slash. Let me go over to do that. And I have the IP address of the box, which is 192.168.0.103. No. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. And what this is showing is this is a one-to-one -one relationship, meaning that I'm doing a single box for a lab test to show that it works. Now, if you go back out to that same file, what you'll see is an enterprise script that you can basically take all of your PCs, all of your systems that have detected as a state, make a new group, new collection, and you can apply, apply the enterprise script, which is the exact same thing, but on a larger scale. So if all of your machines are impacted, not a problem move them into a group based on status of detected, run the VB script against all of them, and voila. So now I've run, I ran the script. I'm showing no errors. Um, I can go back over now to the, um, let me go back over to the WS man, WS trans log. And I can actually see what's happening as of right now. And I can see that there's security, partial provision, partial provision, set routing succeeded, returning SAS 200. So in here I can look at exactly what happened. Request from me to go do it, user base the thing, proxy target, non-factory account, you can see it's going through the data. Now, what I what you like to do here is I go back over to AMT, OPM, MGR log. Um, and I can look at the latest of the log and see when that transaction is about to start. So I can see, for example, what's happening here. Failed to connect, 
well, using the default factory metal accessor, to use default account, succeed to connect to target machine. So it looks like it's still processing in the system and it's still moving through. And here we are processing provision of AMT device, sent request AMT component, successfully create instruction file. Wait 20 seconds to find client certificate for AMT device. Looks like it is proceeding through. And doing a SOAP call, as you can see here. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's go back over to the console. And let me do a refresh on the console. And what we should be able to see here in just a moment is that moved from detected to provision. But I think it's still processing through the queue. So let's hang tight for just a sec, and let's come back to it. All right, we're back. Um, this is where we left off with uh, waiting 20 seconds, and we can scroll on the log, and you can see in the log exactly what happened from waiting for the incoming messages to um, say my X password finished. I mean, you continue to scroll on this log, and what you'll see is that it went through the provision, enabled web UI, enabled SOL, server LAN, and IDR, enabled redirection port, finished second stage provisioning, boom, provision task ended. Now I went over to the console and um, what I recommend highly is you go to collections, hit update collection membership, then go to all systems, do the same there, just to make sure you're pulling um, the latest from the database. And what you'll see is that here's my machine here, it now moved to provision state, AMT 3.2.1, and now I am able to use out of band management console and get back on the road with vPro. That is how you do it, not too bad. We did it a couple times in testing for this today. And I uh, highly recommend if you're in detected state, it's time to get WS Translator installed and uh, make it work. Have a great day.